Hey guys, this is Hell Hades, free to play. Guys, today we're going to tell you how to save bazillions of gems. Absolutely tons of gems. I often get asked, how do you have so many gems constantly topping up on the free to play? And there's actually a, a kind of a few good practices you can do, but this is one of them. Right now, I'm not on fusion grind, okay? And I'm not on kind of really fusion prep because I've got some time on my hands. So I'm going to be burning my energy getting masteries for my champions and it's a really important part of the game honestly if you're not getting masteries for champions when you've got them and they're kind of in your team then they're nowhere near full power you don't have to have masteries on every champion that you run like some faction war champions maybe only the first few tiers of masteries are needed but for kind of like clan boss stuff arena stuff you ideally do want to be running masteries on your champions because it does boost their power so let me talk you through what we're going to be doing today. I can actually do this with one of two champions, both of them totally free. So the first one, which we've all got, is Ultimate Death Knight using my, my solo content build. Yeah, I run this one. It's absolutely fine. 100% easy, but it's a bit slower than the second one I'm going to show you. So Ultimate Death Knight can come in here. This is the build I've got I'm running in right now. A couple hundred speed. Honestly, that's more speed than I need. Um, he's actually got an okay amount of health and defense. He's got accuracy to land his stuff. And then for this build, he's got resistance because I use him to solo farm Dragon and Ice Golem. But, and, and most of his damage comes from War Master or the Toxic Set. Yeah, but that's a little bit slower than the second champion who was also a freebie that I'm going to show you. And this is the champion I use to solo farm Minotaur. And let me explain what that means, because some people would be like, why the hell would you do that? It's a really crucial part of the game. I don't go to campaign anymore unless I need to for missions or for like the daily quest type stuff. Otherwise, campaign is dead to me. Yeah, I use champions to solo content whilst gaining experience, silver, items, scrolls, depending on what I want to do. So this is my Deliana build. She's in a retaliation set. It's not a requirement, it just speeds things up. Retaliation gear for Deliana is super good because our A1 is an AoE smack and it just kind of speeds things up. I've also got this kind of retaliation ring um, or revenge ring. But basically, I've got to run in at an okay speed, 178. This build is a nothing build, honestly. Um, try to push 100% crit rate and a bit of crit damage and a bit of health. Yeah, they're the, they're the kind of three or four things that you want, really. Health, crit rate, crit damage and speed and you know, even if i go through the gear here you've got like a four four star piece of uh crit rate gloves hp chest speed on the boots yeah and then you're just kind of looking for those stats that i've called out already speed crit rate health and then ideally a bit of crit damage i've got a hp ring with hp on it and i've got a crit damage amulet so it's a very basic build and then we've got war master as the main mastery and actually still she's still farming some scrolls herself so this is almost like perfect in terms of efficiency so the way we do this and we we come into minotaur yeah and deliana is going to be my farmer in this situation as i say ultimate death knight can do it as well in my build he's just slower at doing it but we're bringing in four champions that i want to put scrolls on four champions that i also want to put levels into ideally you take them all from like level one to 60 as six stars that's that's like the ideal situation but my free to play can't just level tons of champions like that. Some of these people have got a little bit of gear on for Faction Wars, but none of them have got anything major, probably apart from my Drex here. Everyone else is just in like nothing gear. And Drex isn't really going to add much here. He's going to be killed off pretty damn early. But Deliana just hard carries waves. She's not booked. She's got zero books. So it's not like, oh yeah, but it's because you've put everything into her. She's not fully ascended. I can still put a banner on her yet. She is literally a weak source build and she is carrying this dungeon solo, no problem at all. So bear that in mind. Now, let me go through some stats for you here. Each champion will gain 4152 experience for a run. Yeah. Whether they're maxed in experience or not. So my Deliana's maxed, she's still getting an equal share of that 4152. In fact, the way it works is. It's about 21,000 experience in total for this dungeon. And it shares it between all the people that are there. So if I just had Deliana running with one other person that I wanted to get scrolls for, that's actually not a terrible thing to do, by the way. But the experience you gain is a lot 
less in terms of efficiency. Yeah, it's more experience for that one individual. So if I was just running this with Drex, he would actually get about 10K experience. But if I've got four people leveling, they're all getting about 4,100, exactly 4,152 experience. So it's way more efficient to have four people leveling whilst gaining their scrolls at the same time. I appreciate that's not always going to happen, but that's the, the best case scenario. Now, if I wanted to take four champions from level one to 60 as a six star, it would actually take me in Minotaur 485 runs. Yeah, it sounds like a lot, right? It is quite a lot. And that would cost me the best part of 6,800 energy. And you're like, damn, that seems silly to do. Well, to get one person's scrolls from zero to max is about 2,000 energy. So if we're trying to get four people's scrolls from zero to max, it's actually about 8,000 energy worth of runs. And you're kind of like, okay, well, I can get four people from level one to 60, earn a bunch of silver, get all their scrolls, whilst basically one champion is hard carrying it. It's such a good saver. Yeah, if I was to buy everybody's scrolls with gems, that would cost me 3,200 gems. Four champions worth, yeah? 800 each. This way round, we buy the energy through our gems, which would cost us about 2,500 gems, saving us, what, 700 gems whilst gaining silver, whilst gaining experience and levels on our champions. It's, it's just like a no-brainer to get into this mindset of forget trying to, you know, forget buying masteries, honestly. That's, that's, the, that's the, the point here. Forget buying masteries. You've got champions that can do this already. I know there's some guides out there talking about shield guard to do this. Who does it fast, by the way? He's a good champion for it. But the only thing with shield guard is, like, why level someone up that you're only going to use for this? Deliana are using a whole bunch of content on the free-to-play. Ultimate Death Knight are using a whole bunch of content on the free-to-play. And they do this really well and pretty damn fast themselves if you've got them in a half-decent build. And, and that's all we're talking here, half-decent build. But this just saves you an absolute buttload of energy uh, and resources to get this done. It's, it's like a no-brainer for saving gems on your account. The only thing I would say is, you have to assign time to do this, yeah? So for me right now, I'm not on the fusion grind. So for me, this, this kind of week or so of time is actually going to be running Minotaur. I've saved up a bit of energy that you might have seen. I'm going to be running Minotaur through the Clan v Clan, which starts tomorrow, uh, which is not a bad time to do it. But basically, whenever we are in a bit of a lull, this is where I spend my energy. I come into Minotaur and I get champions who I've been developing to the next level. Ideally, you know, if you get people to tier six masteries, it makes quite a difference for your account, especially if you start to specialize people in different areas. Honestly, with, with Deliana here, if I was to set up her AI, I would say just use your A3 and A1. Don't even bother with that A2. I don't need it. But, you know, putting out this AOE leech just enables me to kind of top up my health uh, consistently. That's it really from today's video. As I say, Ultimate Death Knight in my solo build can do the same thing. But he probably adds about another minute onto the run. And you really do need to turn off some of his AI. But this kind of retaliation set, Deliana, which is bonkers in other areas of the game as well, by the way. Like, you know, she can solo Spider 10, no problem. Um, and, you know, a lot of kind of Doom Tower content, the same build is just really hard to deal with for, for waves. Because she's constantly running out there with this kind of AoE cannon. But yeah, for Minotaur, it will absolutely be a, a lifesaver for your account. So you go, guys. I've been Hell Hades. I hope that was useful. I'll see you later.